or we don't deserve it, but you do it. We thank you for it. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Continue singing for songs of faith, a song we're learning this month by faith. Give us clean hands from another psalm, Psalm 24. And then the last song, a great song of praise. Um, really happy song, which is, which is great. Heaven came down, glory filled my soul. Let's sing these three songs. Solid songs of faith. By faith we see the hand of God.
Let's pray again. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for this day. Lord, we uh, thank you for the opportunity that we have to get in your house. And Father, we thank you uh, for all the ones who have given their lives uh, for us to have this, this opportunity, this freedom that we share here in these United States. And Lord, as we uh, come today, uh, many of us are thankful that we were physically able just to be here. We just give you uh, the honor and the glory and the praise, Lord. We ask that uh, during this time that you would uh, just cleanse our, our minds, our hearts, uh, even relieve our, our bodies of discomfort, that we might be able to uh, be focused upon your word, what you have for us to hear today. Lord, we pray for those that are not here, those that uh, are sick, those that are recovering from surgeries, those, Lord, that uh, are struggling uh, in any way. We just pray that you would be with them. And, Lord, we pray for all those that uh, are traveling, that you put a hedge of protection around them, or that you might bring them back to your house and in your service. Lord, we just ask that uh, as Brother David comes, that your spirit might just uh, fill him. Or that uh, things that he's anticipated saying would be in line with the things, Father, that you have prepared him to say. <clears throat> and again, we just ask that you would uh, just open our ears and our minds, help us to realize and understand what your word is and what it means to us. Father, most of all, we'd ask that if there is someone here today that has been avoiding making a decision, whatever it may be, we'd ask, Father, that uh, you would just encourage them to make uh, this day the day that uh, they respond to your call. Lord, be with us uh, throughout the week. Give us opportunity to share your word and give us boldness uh, along with the opportunity. These things we ask in your Son and our Savior's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
followers of Jesus Christ. We have all kinds of promises in Scripture, and yet many of those we have not attained to. We've not reached the place of walking in it on a daily basis. Some of them we won't until we're in glorified bodies. I understand. But some of those things that talk about being overcomers uh, are things that God desires for us to experience in His grace and His love and His mercy even now. And so as we look at this, this passage in Genesis chapter 15, beginning in verse 1, it says, Now after that war was over, after Abram had gotten Lot and all the family and all the people and he met Melchizedek and he had given the tithe and he'd done all these great things. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, Do not fear, Abram. I am a shield to you. Your reward will be very great. Now, how would you feel if one day you woke up and God spoke into your particular life and experience as an individual and said, Okay, David, don't be afraid. I am a shield to you and your reward going to be very great. And yet, as much as we would say, wow, that would be great, the reality is, it's because of the complete work of Christ. That's true of us. You see, those of us who are walking by faith, as we'll see later, are descendants of Abraham, or spiritual descendants of Abraham, and these same kinds of promises that came to Abraham because of his faith in God are promises that are ours as well. And you say, well, what about Christians who are martyred? How can you say that they're a shield, that God was a shield to them? I, I want